Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and in few weeks, I will be going home and so for today's video, I am going to tell you all the things that you need to do prior to your signing off. First of all, we are now more than 32,000 in this YouTube channel and I would like to thank everyone for supporting me and for all the positive feedbacks that you are giving me. The vessel that I am in now is probably the vessel with the most number of troubles I have sailed with. But I'm still lucky because I have the best crew and we always have the activities to distress just like this one. So what are the things that you need to do before you will sign off? And this is what I always promote. First, please clean your cabin because the guy that will be joining, he left his families. So he or she still feel homesick and sad because of this. And once he get to the vessel, he wants to have a nice and comfortable living. And that will be the best comfort that you can give him to have a nice and clean room. I also refill my fridge because sometimes the vessel will be sailing from port to port. That means that the slop chest and the bun store is still closed. So at least he has something to eat or to drink to freshen up his or her day. And after that, Please clean your electrical or your stores and update your spare parts just in case you miss something onto your list. At least put that into your handover notes so that he will have a good reference onto this one. And after that, you need to make your handover. And in the handover, always focus on the pending jobs that you will be leaving. Do not hide anything, just make a proper handover note because there are troubles that you cannot fix on time because you have lack of spares and within this situation, at least if you will put all the pending jobs, your reliever will not waste any more time in tracing what is the root cause or what is needed onto that certain trouble. So, at least this will actually lessen the amount of time and he can do another important job on board. And based on my experiences, the relievers that are coming, the first thing that they are asking is if the management on board is okay or if the crew are okay. So the best response that I always give them is that Maybe it is always depends on how you will perform on board and how you will be doing your responsibilities and your job and task to you properly. So don't create hearsay and just give them a better start on how they will have a good relationship onto the current crew. And the next one is give the guy the tips of the common troubles that he will be facing on board. There are some troubles that you might actually face twice and at least if you will tell him about the situation or all the tips and tricks that you will be doing on board, at least this will lessen the time for finding the fault on this certain trouble. Because my whole stay on board is, I see to it that I will fix whatever I can fix on board. Because this is the kind of status, a well-maintained vessel is what I want to take over 
every time I join any vessel. So please practice and be a responsible seafarer or electrical officer whenever you are on board. We are here to work and share our knowledge and skills so that the vessel will work or perform in the most economical and efficient way. Any rank in the vessel, whether you are the highest ranking officer or the lowest ranking officer, you are hired or you were hired by the company because you have a very special job to do on board and you are needed that's why you are on board and so at least perform well do your job properly and enjoy your stay on board and the last one is always share all the safety tasks emergency drills all the safety system that the vessel is actually implementing all your roles whenever you have this emergency situation all the areas that you need to be focusing at and those breakers that you need to switch off and cut off whenever there is emergency situation all the emergency exits the fire lockers fire stations master station your boat or the boats station the nearest hydrants and the firefighting equipment on board and then as an ETO we always have these safety checks like the batteries and how to start the lifeboat the location of these batteries how to start the emergency generator how to switch over or run unload our emergency generator and the blackout situation when this happens on board and also the monthly checks that you will be doing like the fire detector testing or the, the fire alarm system testing and even other tasks which are included under your responsibility again guys i would like to thank everyone for all the support that you are giving me and for the next few days or few months, I will still be doing a vlog which is still related to electrical system. And I hope I can still get your support in this matter. I am so happy that I will be spending the Christmas time and New Year in my place as well as the second birthday of my son. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video. And this is your Lucky Jake. And see you.